We've got the all-new BMW M240i in Thunder Night Metallic. With matching sweater. Let's go for a ride. Oh. oh. I love this car. Spoiler alert, I love this car. <laughs> Andrea, what's under the hood of this beast? A three liter turbocharged inline six with an eight speed automatic transmission, 382 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Standard all wheel drive. You can't get a manual transmission in this 2022 model or a convertible. In the United States, there's a base two liter turbo four cylinder and a rear wheel drive option. It's called the 230i with 255 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. At this time, BMW Canada is not bringing that in. I think that will change. Yeah, they're saying that it might come in at a later time, but right now, nothing. Okay, I'm really disappointed about two things. No manual transmission anymore. Nope. And no less power. Okay, three things. No <laughs> less powerful engine in Canada yeah. and no convertible. What the hell? I know, and we were thinking we would buy the convertible. We're Actually, also <laughs> hoping that that one is going to come out later. Yeah, I, I, I would bet in a couple of years they'll bring out the convertible version. Andrew and I would be down for this engine, this car, convertible. Just fix the back. All right, <laughs> what do you get in this car? What are the key standard features? The base trim in Canada comes with an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, leatherette interior, high gloss black trim, heated front sport seats, power seats with driver's seat memory, a heated steering wheel and 19 inch wheels. New BMW same logical layout. Yeah. Thank you, BMW. What do we have to put it in? We got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to find out what's going on behind the scenes, follow Andrea on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. This M240i is longer and wider than the previous model. It is stretched at the wheelbase by two inches. It has a stiffer chassis, improved steering, which makes this coupe or gives this coupe its responsiveness and entertaining drive. It is a magical little car to drive. Every time I get behind the wheel, first of all, I beat on the gas because we still can. Yeah. And it sounds fantastic. It's the right engine. It's the right size. It's just excellent, except for the back. And the other thing is that the dimensions of the car now look more proportional. Yeah. Always loved the drive of the old 240, but the way the wheels sat in the body, it always looked like the maybe the wheels were too small or the, I don't know, they fixed that. Whatever they did to it, it looks better. Yeah, it has a wider stance now. I think that it is a prettier looking car. <laughs> what Love that sound. a sound. So fun. I mean, just such a dynamic drive. I love the heavier steering. You know, you're bombing around the city and you put it in comfort mode and it just really smooths everything out. But then you put it in sport mode and everything just firms up. It's more entertaining. I mean, it's nice kind of to have both drive modes. Andrea, what's the color of your sweater? It's purple. Actually, our son Jack bought it for me for Christmas. Who would have thought I'd be able to use it and match it with this Thunder Knight Metallic Thunder color? Thunder Knight Metallic, yeah. that's the name of it. Okay. A shout out to Laura McLean who helped him pick it out. Yeah, yeah. she sure she did. Went with him because he and needs, Georgia McLean, and her they need, sister. They need help going out shopping. <laughs> All right, uh, would you, speaking of going shopping, buy this car in this color? I would. Would you? I really like it a lot. I think these 19 inch high gloss black wheels look amazing with it. You get standard 19 inch wheels with this. And if you go online, there are a ton of different designs. You don't have to get all black, but I think with this purple, yes. See, I would have to veto that. Why? Because I, 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 I don't like black wheels. I and I don't, don't know if I could live with a purple car. I but, could. 
But you can live with an orange one. I have an orange car. Yeah. yeah because orange is better than purple. No. Orange trumps purple. Either or is good. I think it's a great looking vehicle. BMW nailed it with the front and the profile. The back, not so much, but it still wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. I love this car and this inline six engine is so special. I would still buy it. All right, the inside, as we mentioned earlier, they didn't screw it up. They stuck with what works. Yeah. They are going to be bringing many more screens and touch interfaces. We're seeing that with their new electric cars, but yeah. still with most of their mainline cars, they have the same layout that works. There's a touch screen for Andrea. She likes the touch screen. Yeah. There's the rotary dial eye control knob for me. And then there's buttons for everybody. It, it pleases everybody. It's a well-designed interior. It's really driver focused. The cockpit is wonderful. Everything at the center console is at your fingertips. Everything that you need is here. The heated steering wheel is on the steering wheel. It's heated all the way through. Way to go, BMW. We've got an upgrade in our model. We've got the 12.3 inch digital driver display and the 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen. I would get that upgrade. It's $1,000 Canadian, $900 US. Oh, cheap. Yeah, not bad at all. There really isn't a best value trim, is there, Andrew? No. It kind of comes as one package in Canada. Well, there's a base trim and then you can add a la carte items or packages you know you can really make it your own and add as many features as you want or you can keep your price down and maybe be on a stricter budget with this it's possible i would order the screens because i think that makes a difference to the interior i don't even think i would get the vernasca leather which is 1500 canadian 1450 us why that's what our test model has because i don't think vernasca leather is of the best quality i would just just go with their sense attack and get leatherette interior really you mm -hmm. go leatherette there are three different colors in the u.s to choose from uh black beige and cognac and in canada there are two colors black and cognac you know what i, I think that audi does better leather on their cars yeah. for sure yeah. um, and i wish bmw would address that we brought it up before the leather that they use in their cars these days is pretty crap yeah. but i do appreciate some little touches like we've got the uh the stitch here and we've got this splash of color in the door car yeah. it's kind of nice right yeah it comes standard with a high gloss black trim we have tetragon in here which is 250 Canadian 150 US and it's even at the center console here I think that it makes for a beautiful design we have got blue stitching in here of course that can you see that blue stitching or yeah not? well here's the thing is I'm colorblind so I first thought this car was blue like a like a midnight yes. blue it's apparently purple. And, and then Thunder the Knight Metallic made him think it was blue. Yeah, Thunder Knight Metallic. Yeah. What a name. It's a good <laughs> name for a band. Thunder Knight Metallic. All right. Uh, one thing, I'm going to take it for the team, Andrea. Oh. I am going to squish myself into the back seat awesome. to show you that if you move the front seats up just a little bit, you can actually get in the back. Yeah. Now, this is really the place for kids. You know, we used to own a 9 We've actually owned a couple of 911s when wow. our kids were smaller, and they loved it because it was really only for kids. It was like a clubhouse <laughs> just for them yeah. and that really not adults going back there. So if you have little kids, you can stick them in there with a little, not a full car seat but probably a booster yeah. seat all right the trunk is not huge this is a small car but yeah. it actually uh, did well with carrying in a cooler right yeah just fine surprisingly it's deeper than i thought and it fit it nicely of course you're not buying this for cargo space but if you have to throw some groceries back there it's fine did i mention i don't like the back it's yeah coming up Zach, let's get into it time now for questions coffee and cars your questions from Instagram. I really like this new model with the B58 motor and glad the grill on this one looks great. I was comparing this with the M340i and the weight difference is not much. And so would like to have your review cover how well it drives compared to the M340i. Well, you've got the same engine in a smaller package, shorter wheelbase, more dynamic, yeah. big, long, sexy hood ugly ass one's a two-door one's a four-door one has a bigger back seat you know i think this really changes the aerodynamics of the vehicle this coupe is pretty special because it is small it's the best car bmw has in their lineup in my opinion like yeah. sure there are m5s and all those super uber expensive ones but this is one that not everybody can attain but it is really a special car 
Thanks for the great reviews. I have seen several videos now on this model and the rear styling looks awkward. I will reserve judgment until I see it in person. But what is your take on the continuity of the design? Have they gone too far like the often disliked bangle era of cars? It's not our favorite, is it? That back end. Yeah, I just mentioned it a second ago. I think it's got an ugly butt. Um, <laughs> all I see, like Andrea was doing the drive-bys and I had the camera, and then we were doing the car-to-car -car shots. Yeah. All I see is the Toyota FRS or the Scion FRS from the back. The lights. And the lights. And that's yeah. not good company. I mean, this is a car. If they had just done um, regular, horizontal, clean-looking light yeah. at the back, similar to what they have with other cars, man, it would be an absolute home run. Yeah, I think it needs slim tail lights. I'm not sure if it's really the back end because it's boxy or if it's the tail lights. It's totally Either the tail way, I, I don't like it. It's fantastic looking from the front, from the side, yeah. the front three quarter, the back end, man. BMW has pulled out the biggest ugly stick <laughs> with some of their new designs. Yeah. I don't understand why they're beating their cars to death with these weird shapes and angles. The rest of this car, the, it's the only thing about this car I don't like. Same here, that long hood is so pretty. Zach is right, profile looks great, but I am happy it didn't get that large grill. I mean, that really would have been awful. Oh, wait. The black kidney grill on this and the size is perfect. They can still hit it again now, with another ugly stick. We put out a lot of content each week, and if you're looking for a specific video, it's easy to find. All you do is go to the YouTube search bar. First of all, you type in the name of the channel, Motormouth, then the brand you're looking for. In this case, BMW, then all the videos we've done on BMWs and comparisons will pop up. I've always had fun driving a BMW, but never pulled the trigger on getting one. Is the fun worth the cost of ownership reliability woes? Here's what you do. If you like this car, and I love it, other than the back end, lease it. Yeah. Lease it for three years. Um, it's under uh, warranty and maintenance is included for three years. I call it the long-term test drive. Yeah. So you have the car for three years. Everything's covered. No need to worry. Enjoy all the power and the good looks, except the back. And <laughs> then um, uh, you can decide at the end of the lease whether you want to buy the car out or give it back and get something else. And if you want to keep it for a longer period of time or let's say you buy a used bmw you've got to stay on top of the maintenance it does cost a little bit more to own a german brand and you have to know that going in jd power gives this m240i a quality and reliability score of 81 out of 100. jd power put out a dependability study in 2021 bmw is ranked 11th with lexus being number one and porsche number two um, it's okay, you know, kind of middle of the pack. These cars hold their value incredibly well. Yeah. The analogy I always use in the luxury car space is the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You want a car to depreciate fast, buy a 7 Series. If you want a car to depreciate a little bit, buy a 3 Series. If you want it to depreciate even less, buy a two series yeah. that's the way it works and now it's time for our hot topic what's this one andrea i'm so glad you're testing this one i had two two series previously and love my m240 convertible i've always thought the two series coupes excluding the four doors were the purest form of the original bmw dynamic is that still true for this generation Woo! oh yeah that sounds good. All that enthusiast stuff is all <laughs> baked in. It's fantastic. It is my favorite BMW. It always has been. Well, there's been some M5s in the past, but yeah. you know what? This really is the purest form of what BMW has been over the decades. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a disappointment. There's no rear wheel drive option now in Canada and there's no manual transmission. I hear that the new M2 that's coming out is probably gonna have the manual transmission and it is going to be rear wheel drive. Those are the rumors. I would almost hazard a guess because if you wanted the manual transmission, in the Canadian market anyway, you had to get rear wheel drive. Right. Right? Yeah. So rear wheel drive is a bit of a deal breaker for a lot of people in a northern climate. Yeah. Uh, they want all wheel drive. It makes sense. But they've had all wheel drive manual cars in the past. Not sure why they can't do it. Hmm. 
it may be just a sliver of market share and that's why in Canada they're bringing in the car that most people bought probably to yeah start it makes with. sense but it's nice to have options and with so few manual transmission cars available yeah. this was one that BMW still supported not any longer and in the US you do have the rear wheel drive option I'm disappointed there's no convertible with this anymore well the problem is people aren't going out and buying the cars they want no. them to make like so everybody laments that there's no manual transmissions yeah but people don't go out and no. buy them right no. and then people lament when station wagons go away <laughs> but nobody goes and buys them then they lament the fact that there's no good coupes any longer but people don't go out and buy them no. so if you like these cars you gotta buy one that's yeah. the thing and and this is the problem as we all know crossovers and SUVs are making up the large share of the market 80 percent yeah these vehicles just aren't selling anymore now Andrea touched on it already the reliability and mm. so on so let's get into the vital stats let's start with pricing the base model m240i starts at just under fifty seven thousand dollars in Canada and forty eight and a half thousand in the US price has tested sixty eight and a half thousand dollars Canadian JD Power gives the BMW 240i coupe an overall score of 81 out of 100. Car Edge states the 2 Series will retain 49% of its value after five years. Here's the fuel economy for the M240. 10.1 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 7.6 on the highway. That's 23 miles per gallon city, 32 miles per gallon highway. BMW offers a warranty of four years, 80,000 kilometers or 50,000 miles. Actually, we had to sit down and think about what other cars would this yeah. compete against? There's really not that many. So let's get into that now. Sort of fun cars to drive. Yeah. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the Toyota GR Supra with a three liter turbocharged inline six, 382 horsepower, and a starting price of $68,500. The Mustang GT with a five liter V8 and 460 horsepower, and a starting price of just over $49,000. The 2023 Nissan Zad or Z coming out this spring with a twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower, pricing has not been announced yet. Here's our used car alternative from CanadaDrives.ca. We've chosen a very low mileage 2014 Mercedes-Benz SLK convertible with only 41,240 kilometers for $36,490. Click on the tab or the link in the description below to find more vehicles from CanadaDrives.ca. So there are four sporty cars for you to consider. There are two available features, Park Assist as well as Adaptive Cruise Control. In Canada, they're both $1,000. In the U.S., that Park Assist is $700. I did check the U.S. website. I had a follower from Instagram ask me about Adaptive Cruise Control in the U.S. It's not on the site. You are supposed to get it. It's supposed to be an available feature. Chip shortage, but yeah, chip shortage. I'm wondering with the chip shortage if you're just not able to get it. All right, lightning round. Two things we like, two things we like to see improved. Well, the inline six engine, it is spectacular. And the handling is sublime. And BMW, you've got to come up with a better grade leather if you're going to ask consumers to pay more for it. And just a request, BMW, put the ugly stick away. Well, this coupe would suit me just fine. I had so much fun with it. The only downside is I'd have to get a matching purple sweater. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of to-your-door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love-it-or-return-it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more.